Hey, this is Andrew Stein, and I'm a PTA writer oversight for the Boston here in the Tokyo subway station system at the Karame station on the Oeda line. And I want to talk a little bit about the differences between the Tokyo subway system and the Boston subway system. So we'll start here first with the map. Uh, you can see this is a, a map of the line We're right here uh, in red at the Karame station. Uh, a couple things jump out to me right away, different between Boston and other American subway systems that I've ridden. You can see each station, in addition to having a name, it has a number as well. So you can always tell, even if you don't know uh, which direction you're going uh, in relation to the city, you know if you're at station four is where you need to get to, you know it's between station three and five, you can just follow the numbers to get to the place you want to go. And you know, talking about the, the names here, you can see that all over the system, both Japanese characters and English is used. Uh, Tokyo really prides itself on trying to be a welcoming and global city. There's a very big, uh, really neat, interesting campaign I saw where they welcomed Santa Claus on the Tokyo Metro, who is a, a Western, uh, white Santa who only speaks English, and he's able to navigate the system, highlighting all of the uh, openness of the, the Tokyo Metro system. But anyway, back to the map. So we have a station name and number. Uh, additionally, this number here, inside the line, is an estimated time in minutes between to get to that station from the station. Very useful in planning your trip. And actually, over here, I'll show you, you actually have uh, an entire schedule for the arrival times on weekdays and weekends uh, at this particular station uh, for trains. So you can plan very efficiently uh, when your train is coming and how long your trip's going to take. I think they have a train coming in now. Uh, you can hear it coming in. You'll notice you have the train approaching signs flashing right as the train comes in. Uh, this station features gates. Uh, not all stations that I've been to feature gates, uh, but many of them do. Uh, Tokyo, uh, unlike uh, Boston, but like other cities such as Washington, does charge based on the distance you travel. Uh, perhaps later we'll be able to show a, a ticketing machine where you can see uh, how much you need to spend to get to where you're going. Briefly about uh, the entire system. Uh, I found that the Tokyo subway system actually doesn't always list all of its lines because there's so many of them on the map. Uh, Tokyo Metro or Tokyo Subway is actually two separate systems. Uh, Tokyo Metro and uh, a private contract company uh, that we're actually riding on today. They'll interoperate seamlessly but very close. A couple more things on the passengers that might be extremely useful. Uh, you'll notice above us uh, we have a clock and estimated arrival time for the next trains. Uh, something that came to Boston very, uh, very well there and is precisely on time I found here. Behind you, you'll notice that we have a sign uh, pointing directions in the station. Wayfinding in the station is actually very important, and a lot of time has been spent to make sure it's done properly. You'll notice gates A5 through A7, that's actually uh, exit gates from the station. Very useful in planning how you're going in. When we went to Acosta, for instance, and had very specific directions that we needed to leave at gate A5. It's extremely useful to someone that doesn't know the area. One other thing, uh, all stations that we've been to, I don't know if it's all stations on the system, do feature free Wi-Fi in station. Very helpful. And I believe our train is, is approaching, so we'll hop on shortly. Uh, before we go though, if you listen carefully, uh, you, you may or may not be able to hear the bird chirping in the, system, in the station. That bird chirping is piped in, artificial sound, uh, kind of livens up the station a little bit. Uh, I actually quite like it. Uh, so our train will be approaching in a moment. We'll see it come in and there's always a uh, uh, sort of a tune that plays. We'll go ahead and let the, the video run through to that sound. And we'll see you, we'll see you later uh, in another station.